How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring you along with me to see what life would be like only using my Sony a7 IV, a minimal setup. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to be simply using only my Sony a7 IV today, kind of setting it up with my microphone and the 17-28 Tamron. So bring along with me to take some photos just with that and Kind of vlog with it to see how it would be if you only had this camera usually i use my sony a7s3 when it comes down to the filming part and then obviously photos with this one i'm not going to be bringing my 35 to 150 because we're going to just go on a walk but we're going to pretend it's uh you know in the minimal setup but for me my minimal setup would be just the tamron 17 to 28 that i'm currently filming on and you know the 35 to 150 to cover all the bases with my sony a7 IV and the video micro microphone that i would have for just a minimal setup when it comes down to having one camera only so for the sake of this video just remember that i would have this too but we're just going to go walk around and film with the a7 IV and the 17 to 28 and i'll take some photos with that one too just to kind of showcase what i would do if i only had this kind of minimal setup and see if you can just get by having this one camera for your content creation needs. So we're just gonna switch over to this one and go out and about and go create some content and you know, see how it turns out. And here we are with the a7 IV using it, how I would do it for making these kind of videos with you guys. So, I mean, so far we haven't left the house yet, but we're about to go kind of just walk around with the dogs and everything and just, you know, use it as I would making these videos and just kind of be testing it out. I know a lot of people kind of been I guess hesitant to know if they should just get the a7 IV because the price range compared to what the a7s3 offers and to me it, it kind of is comparing apples to oranges because obviously the a7s3 isn't the most photo friendly camera so obviously the a7 IV if you're really wanting to have the hybrid it's just going to be this camera like you might as well just go get it right now but um, it's always good to just kind of see if you would only have one camera set up, how would it be, how would you do, and you know, just kind of have what you have and use it to the best of your abilities. For me, the a7 IV is one of the main reasons why I got it because it has the better 10-bit color range, so it's something that I want, want to have for my videos to just kind of keep the same quality that I can have with the a7S III. So that's just me, so hopefully that makes sense for you. And now another thing that I think is really good with this camera is just mainly that I don't have to switch back off and on to take photos and video. I can just switch the little like knob that I've loved really much from this camera to just go from photo mode to video mode and just take the photo that I want to take really quick and then switch right back to video mode really fast so I'm not missing any shots themselves and I can keep con con creating the nice content that I want to create and you know have some fun with my gear because that's the ultimate thing when it comes down to all this gear is use the gear that's going to make you want to create and have fun and you know enjoy yourself. It is mighty bright out today, but you know, just gotta do it for the dogs. They love, love walking. And today's actually kind of nice out. We got a random cold front where it dropped down from like 23 degrees Celsius to like negative five overnight. And now it's stayed relatively, I guess right now it's two degrees, which doesn't feel too bad compared to yesterday. But yeah, at least right now feels good to be outside and they're enjoying themselves. Thank you. 
something that I covered recently with the comparison of the a7 III to the a7 IV, that's just this little flip out screen. It just makes life so much simpler for a minimal setup because I didn't do a minimal setup with my Sony a7 III. But obviously with the little kind of mirror on top made it a little bit harder to be as minimal. Now with this one, it's actually minimal. And it's pretty nice because using the switch pod for my kind of like little, I guess, gorilla pod style. And I'll make probably a video soon enough why I don't choose the gorilla pods anymore. But the using this setup right here is just so convenient because we're just walking. I don't feel like too tired to be like holding it and well, I'm able to just create the content that I want to create while just kind of traveling lightly when I have like my dogs or just for any trips that I want to do for the video. So something beneficial in my eyes when it comes down to this little little setup right here. The a7 IV is becoming very pristine. So I know that if I need to just condense down and only bring one camera, I have my setup perfectly right here. great to just be able to you know just switch a little 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 switch right there and just have photo video slow motion everything just kind of really fast uh, I talked about it in a video about my favorite feature of the a7 IV <laughs> lovely when my dogs see ducks and they're freaking out but anyways uh, whenever you like I talk about that that feature basically just a switch of the a7 IV has been phenomenal in my eyes because it's something that just it makes you be quicker with your just your content creation you can go quick for photo quick for video slow motion if you program it right because you have all the three different like memory banks of each not just like one two three for like photo video or something like that but it's for the photo you have three video you have three and the s and q you have three so that's something really cool already that i talked about and i really think it's awesome so it's made it a lot easier to just create content with just one camera when it comes down to that because I can just go quick for photo, quick for video, and then get back to whatever I need to be doing. So it's phenomenal when it comes down to that. One of the main thing that I really like is just having the bird out of focus, like the eye out of focus and the animal and obviously the human one, because it's really fast to customize it. I just basically hit the down arrow and I can siphle through them and then just pick the best one because I, I was able to do that when I was getting close to the ducks, obviously with my dogs and whenever I take photos of myself or my wife or whomever, it's pretty simple enough. So that's something that I really think is very cool because I mean, I kind of got all my bases covered right here. Now, the only thing would be that if Tamron could just make, I don't know, a 17 to 150 F2 to 2.8, I wouldn't be mad. Obviously unrealistic, but having the 35 to 150 is very cool because it is a very nice of a lens and I'm able to create a lot with that focal range with the 17 to 28. Obviously for this walk, I didn't really need it, so I didn't bring it, but if I really need to condense down, I'm able to just bring like my backpack very light now because I used to have to put my 7180 and then the 20 to 75. And I am very, uh, there we go, overblown. See, nice little front camera. I'm able to see myself a little bit nicer because then I know if it's getting bright or not. And then I can just go, oh, it's getting dark. Bam, back to it. But anyways, so I'm able to just really condense down and just having one camera two lenses and that's it my camera bag is quite 
white light. So it's kind of nice to have that availability now for myself whenever I need to just have a one-stop shop with the good old, um, what's it called, uh, camera setup that I have right here. So we're, you know, done with all the good old walking and everything with this uh, camera setup. And I mean, honestly, very, very beneficial to have. I mean, I could probably use my 28 to 75 and get basically away with just using it for vlogging and also for the photo taking. Um, obviously, I'm not really having that lens for myself anymore gave it to my wife to use but if you have it I mean honestly with a 20 to 75 or even a 24 to 70 either Sigma or G Master whichever one you want to go with um, you're able to really just condense down even more and just really have a one setup with the lens the camera and the microphone and you probably could get away with a whole trip with just that so unless you really need a telephoto lens for some something else I don't know but my honest opinion you should be able to just get away with that so that's that's pretty much it i mean for me i know that if i really don't want to bring two camera setups whenever i go out let's say downtown because i can't keep track of everything for myself i'll definitely just condense down to only having my a7 IV, bless you lola and you know just having that set up for photos and videos for whatever I need to do. Cause the cool thing is I can do kind of these talking parts with this lens. And then when I need to do some more B-roll type of shots, I can switch over to my 35 to 150, take the photos and then, you know, have some B-roll footage as well. And then just in post, put it all together. And it kind of works out because obviously not everything is going to be in the sequence that you see it filmed at, but when you go to editing, you can create however you want to. So that's something that you have more benefit of, in my honest opinion. So yeah, this minimal setup is very stellar. Uh, if you want to know all the stuff that I have, I'll leave them down in the description below so you can see all the gear that I currently have and have upgraded to as well so that you can get access to it if you so choose to. Definitely something that is beneficial for people to know because that's something that I like to do is try to give people as much information as possible so that it helps them out to get the gear that they want to acquire and you know see how it works out for them since there's a reason why I purchased it myself. But with all that said and done guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe share this video with a friend I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!